this week on Scam School, you're gonna look like an awesome gambler. You won't actually gamble any better though. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Domain.com. Sup bro, you wanna get ripped? You wanna go from nothing to a six pack instantly? Then you need Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. Hello beautiful people, I'm Brian Brushwood and this week, it's not a scam, it's not a trick, it's not a lie. You will get an actual skill, you will look dexterous and be amazing and you play with money what could go wrong all right here we go i need a beverage somebody get this man beer. Yes. Beer. fake toast fake toast fake 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 all right back again with some old favorites we got colin we got charles and the reason i wanted you guys is because we're going to learn an actual skill charles you learned how to vanish a coin like a freaking boss you joined our boy band we toured the world now it's time for the sequel where we learned how to roll a quarter. Do you know how to roll a quarter? No. Nope. But you know what I'm talking about when I'm I, talking about rolling a quarter. I, I don't mean like, you know, that. I can play that quarters. I know how to do I that. Could, <laughs> Wait, I can play quarters. Rolling a quarter is one of the best things you could do to learn to build up an affinity for coin. If you're doing vanishes and stuff and you want to make them look good, then it helps to know the way coins are going to roll over the topography of your hand. So everybody grab a coin. The biggest mistake everyone does is treat rolling a quarter as if you're rolling it down your hand. If you roll it down and you mess up, it immediately falls to the ground. When you practice rolling a quarter, you want to think tabletop. You should at all times be able to rock this and then you're gonna place it on your index finger whoop, 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 and then drop it on the ground. Also have a lot of quarters. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch and flop it over your middle pinch finger. And there you go. Flop. And then and the right. same thing. You're gonna walk it down. Now once you get to the pinky, you're just gonna nudge it a little bit over. Now this is the tricky part. Wow! Woo! <laughs> the alcohol kills the germs. So, so here's the part that's a little bit tricky. When you get to the end, I'm gonna kind of nudge in with my ring finger just enough to get it pinched and you're sort of gonna give a big enough gap that it'll slide through your pinky and ring, but, but notice your thumb is down here like a conveyor belt. You're essentially gonna set it on your thumb, and now look at this. So Check it's balanced out. on the thumb, and the thumb's gonna act as a conveyor belt, coming right back, and then it's going to start the whole thing over again. Setting it on the first, rolling it on the second, rolling it on the third, taking it through the gap, <laughs> conveyor belt it back. If you do this with a rhythm, it starts to look better and better. It's one of those things you're gonna do a lot of dropping. In fact, when you're training, you might as well lean down so that you reduce the amount of time because you're gonna drop a lot of quarters this way. Let me see, let me see what you got, Charles. I ain't got it. That's one. Uh. This is where real training begins, is when you have the frustration of getting it from one part to the next. Look at how smooth you did that, you son of a- mm, It only took 20 years. But that's the nice <laughs> thing, is this is the kind of thing you could do while you're watching a movie. It doesn't take a lot of your brain power. No brain power at all. Yeah, I'm totally not gonna pay attention to the TV show. I would say every move should be slow and in control. So it's like you go over the top, Watch also the way it's punctuated. So if you start with it on your thumb, you're just gonna pinch and nudge over the first, and you're done. Punctuate, punctuate. punctuate. Then you go flip from first to second, right? And then you're gonna go from second to third. Then you're gonna go down the gap, and you're going to take oh, it on yeah. the underground tunnel back. There it is! Whee! Look at that! You just got it. You'd think someone who types for a living would have better digital dexterity. The only reason that you type well is because you've been doing it for years and years and years. The more you do this, the easier it'll become. Don't try to make it all smooth at first. Do it. Punctuate, punctuate, punctuate. Start with it so on the start, thumb. This, stop, this should be your start. start. Stop. There you go. You're going to come in on top of the first balance. Second to third transition. Third to fourth transition. Now, it's only after doing it for years and years that you'll speed up enough. Oh, see, look at this. You already got it down. Look, it's dude, taking it in steps. Charles, you went from zero to having it down. <laughs> that is amazing. Zero to <laughs> hero, baby. All right. Punctuate, there. like stop each time. Stop, next. But if I stop, it's not gonna go there. Oh, no, 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 you should never rely on momentum. You should always be completely in control. You should be able to stop at any moment and then keep going. There you go, there you go. And and if you wanna get a better tabletop, you're sort of working with fingers extended, which is a little trickier. So what, I would do say, this? I, yeah, there you go. Now notice I'm making a fist. This is like the Napoleon Dynamite. Slowly pull your fist up to your chin, like you're, like you're modeling a watch. And that watch is worth a quarter. All right, the pinky transition is the hardest part. I agree. All right. Dude, Charles is killing it. He's getting there. He's kicking your ass. He's kicking my ass. Oh. Okay, so you're having trouble with the end part, right? All right, so so get to the end. Get, get all the way on that last finger. Before you enter the underground, you want to have your thumb 
<laughs> down here, ready track. to go. And you'll notice what's happening is I'm not letting it slide and fall between my pinky and ring finger. Instead, my pinky is kind of grasping it at the top and like bottom that. there. Okay. Do you see that? Oh, there it is. And there, all, all right, right. Now, stop, stop, stop. Pull it down, and you notice you have a little bit of a grip on it with your pinky. Yeah. And I you're just kind of setting it, the... it on top of your thumb. I, I screwed. You got it right, and I screwed it up. Well done. Set it on top around. Ah! He's got it. <laughs> well done. All right, Colin. Charles is passed. What about you? Just set it down on the thumb. Don't let it fall. There you go. Come back around. That's it. Repeat 10,000 times, and you're an expert. Well done, gentlemen. Oh, Toast wait. That one was better. Oh, the <laughs> That works. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>